Hello, once again, bring it to yours. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're starting in Las Vegas, Nevada. Going up to Missoula, Montana, carrying empty pallets. Pallets of what? I don't know. And our chariot for today is a Volvo. And with that said, we will roll out. Oh, wait a minute. It's over here. And I got a full view of the mirror this time around. We're not going to bother stopping. There's no one coming this way. Look both ways before crossing the street, children. We are good to go. Actually, you know what? Let's go this way. Let's see if I can get this, uh, this discoverable here. Hopefully it doesn't take us too far out of the way. the trailer to go f up and over. And we don't, we certainly don't need to lose half of our, well okay, not, not exactly half, but a lot of our money just because of the damaged trailer and as a result of that damage cargo as was the case on our trip from Torneo to Tel Aviv losing 11,000 euros Gotta deal with this. Wonderful. And no, we do not because we can go. Going down. I want to pick pick 
picturesque evening in uh, in Vegas. I wonder if this is actually Vegas or uh, Paradise. Because I've heard that most of the things people associate with Vegas aren't actually in Vegas. They're in the outskirts in a, in a place called Paradise, Nevada. Which is, which is exactly where the Vegas Golden Knights are based. Little American lesson for you there. Oops. Jesus. These headlights are crazy. Alright, can I uh, do a turn on red here? Ah, good. Also, for those of you that don't know, turning right on red is perfectly legal. As long as you use your turn signal and as long as it's not otherwise stated that you can't do it. So. God damn it. too fast. We're just going to be in a never-ending battle with the stoplights today, aren't we? That's what it sound seems like right now. And let's go. from this direction? No.
to the left lane and there's a giant donut. Huh. To the freeway we go. Do you hear any vibrations? That would be my phone going off because Number one, I forgot to put it on silent, and number two, that would be my ex <sighs> trying to message me on Skype. And we are on the highway now. Headed towards the border to Utah, I believe. I think I'm gonna be on a different side of the, of the lane here. You know what? We're gonna. I don't care if this blinds anyone. We're just gonna keep, keep the high beams on. So I don't end up running into a uh, into any signs. Arizona, we have entered. Now we just have to keep a lookout for the uh, "Welcome to Utah" sign, which, as I said, is in the middle of the highway somewhere. I'm not sure which part of the country, part of the border crossing it. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, um... Hmm. What the... The hell was that? I might have just found, uh... Part of an invisible wall. Huh. Well, anyway, now we have damage. I'm not sure to which part of the truck. And also, people behind me couldn't avoid me, so of course they ran smack into my trailer. Oh, for the love of God. Really? I'll piss off. Well, <sighs> invisible wall. I shall be back. And here we are on the other side of the wall. Hopefully, that'll be the end of it. Hopefully, but knowing my luck, it probably won't. As I was saying, gonna have to look out for the sign going into Utah because it's in the middle of the road.
think this is exactly which road it, it's on because I remember hitting an invisible wall and then not long after the road saying welcome to you or the, the sign saying welcome to Utah appeared out of nowhere and I, and I had to swerve so gotta be careful this one. Also, um, add that wall to the invisible wall count. And I guess don't worry about the other one because I was able to, to get around it after hitting it. Why? I guess it was only... Oh, and here's the sign. Right in the middle of the road. So, <laughs> now we're in Utah. Probably should have taken a picture of that. Send it to the mod creator. And also, we are now in no man's land once again because there is another city for a long while, anyway. I think, yeah, I think the only two cities in Utah are uh, Salt Lake and Moab. And possibly Provo. I'm not sure. AI is smart enough to get around that sign. Because it's blocking both lanes of traffic. carburetor when I hit that wall. So we can slow it down quite a ways. Oh no, okay, we're speeding back up. Anyway, now that all the uh, early bullshit's out of the way, let's talk. As if I haven't already been doing that for the past few minutes. Um, the Q&A was, was uh, well received. So... Three hundred. I decided to do something different. Three hundred sub special will be a Cards Against Humanity video. Now, if you want to get in on that, join my Discord. I will have 
the link in the description down below. And it's also uh, in the about section of my YouTube channel, so you can find it there as well. Try not to have too many too many players because I think there's a limit of how many you can have. Something like I don't know, 20, 20 players or something. And basically, if if you don't know what Cards Against Humanity is, basically what it is, um, you're given a black card with, uh, with a sentence or, uh, you know, a phrase, whatnot, and there's a blank. And the idea is to fill the blank with something as funny or as edgy, etc., etc., as possible. And whoever, and whichever the cards are, that's the one who reads the cards after they're all chosen. Whichever one the cards are likes better. That's the one who gets the point. So I'm sure I'm sure once once you play it for the first time, if you haven't already, you'll understand how it works. But anyway, yeah, that will be for three hundred subscribers and as of right now I am sixteen away. I was 13 away, but I lost a few subscribers in the past few days. That's fine. I don't blame you, since I've been uploading nothing but Euro Truck Simulator 2 videos. Except for the occasional Pokemon video, but that's about it. Let's see... Salt Lake City Provo. Ah. Okay, so they have Provo, Moab, and Salt Lake City in the game. But unfortunately, the Salt Lake is not present in the mod. It probably will be when the DLC comes out. Which is already on my wish list. All the other DLCs have so far. Let's see, we got a little less than 11 hours left. We have uh, 659 miles to go until we get to Missoula. And I'm hoping another thunderstorm doesn't pop up while we're driving. Especially not like the one we had last night while I was trying to upload um, Pokemon Lifeless. That game was actually kind of fucked up. In a, in a good way, obviously, but certainly had a few jump scares. Or what I would call jump scares, because uh, both times that uh, Charlie appeared out of nowhere scared the hell out of me. And also, when uh, Mom appeared in the, in the cave in the door, that, that kind of creeped me out too. Never would have expected her to be the, to be the uh, protagonist or the antagonist, excuse me. But it happened. <laughs> and also, a game that probably should have took me only a half hour, forty minutes. It took me almost an hour to complete. 
because I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I kept losing that battle. Wasn't happy about that. So. Maybe I'll do another one-off like it at some point. So here's an in-video uh, poll, if you will. I have several games that I have yet to complete. I'm going to give you uh, three of them. Let's see, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, which I only did the first two levels of, I believe. Uh, Papers, Please, which I got arrested halfway through. And, uh, let's see what else. And Gogo -Go Nippon, which is a visual novel where the two supporting characters take you on a tour of Japan. I only did like three, maybe four episodes of that, and then I stopped because no one was watching it. Maybe I'll get one of my friends to do um, voiceover for the Japanese characters. Seeing as I have a hell of enough, to, hell of a hard time doing Japanese on my own for one character, let alone three. I do have Japanese friends, so maybe they, maybe they'll help out if they if they can. I gotta keep in mind though, the time difference is uh, uh, 12 to 13 hours, depending on whether or not it's daylight savings time. So we'll see. By Salt Lake City. I wonder, are we gonna have to have to rest? I say that because we're halfway through between the time that I last rested and uh, oh shit, between the time we last rested and the f and the time that I'm gonna have to do it again. Salt Lake City discovered, and that is definitely not Salt Lake City. That reminds me of one of the... Uh, one of the SES cities. Somewhere in... California, I think. Possibly Nevada. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is somewhere in California. I re on its unexpected event in your rear. All right, where is it? Where is it? How okay, there it is, right there. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go around it and see what see what happens. Could have I could have easily used the uh, the shoulder, but uh, oh, you know what? I can I see what I can do here. Possibly. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up, up and around, and then go back the other way. Hopefully, I can, hopefully I can get around it that way.
Oh, shit. What the hell happened there? Just ran right into him. That was my bad. Anyway. We're gonna go over here and back around. And hopefully nothing's blocking it off because, uh... I don't know how else to get around it other than to use the shoulder. In other words, cheat the system. Uh, oh shit, I don't think I can get, get through there. Oh, let's see. Oh, fuck you. Alright, you know what? I don't have time for this shit. We are cutting down through here. Seriously, these... These, uh... Random detour... Oh. What happened? Are you f Jesus, park a little bit further off the road, why don't you? Jesus. Alright, well... We are around the detour. Oh, shit. And I just realized I, uh... Have very little fuel left, so I gotta, f I gotta fuel up here. Probably could have done it when I was still in Salt Lake. If they had a gas station, which I don't know if they did. Anyway. Clear of the of the calamity. That was the municipal services or commercial services, rather. I don't know. Running out of fuel. Yeah, I know. I literally just realized that not too long ago. Back into no man's land. Montana should have a little bit more to offer in terms of scenery and uh, cities, because it's basically its own its own mod. First, we gotta go through Wyoming, which is equally as empty, I mean, in real life. Pretty sure, pretty sure the population of Wyoming is less than uh, 500,000 people at this point. Yellowstone will not be present. And neither will... Wait, is... Is Yosemite in Wyoming as well, or is that just Yellowstone? Uh, I'll have to look that one up. But anyway, Yellowstone will not be present in the mod. Unfortunately. Just got 
another message on my phone. I'm not sure if that's from Twitter or from WhatsApp. Oh, and here's a gas station. Slash rest area. And we are in... Oh, I forgot about Idaho. Whoops. It's actually a part of Idaho in the, in the base game, but all it is is a connection point between Oregon and uh... Cal or... no. For, from one part of Oregon to another. And we're just gonna fill it on up here. Let's see, should I rest? Uh, four hours. We got 39 hours to complete this mission. Or this trip, rather. Nah. Nah, I'm not gonna do it yet. We're gonna go. If I start to get tired, I'm just gonna find another place to rest. There's, there's a bunch of them around here, probably. And there's the weather I wanted to avoid. Damn. I'll tell you what, we've had a lot of... Oh, excuse me, Zeus. We've had a hell of a lot of thunderstorms lately. A lot of heavy ones, too. Shit! Why are we stopping every five feet? Come on! There better not be an accident up ahead. Also, as with the last time we had a thunderstorm during the recording, if you hear a hear what sounds like the emergency alert system of America. That would be from my phone, warning me that there's a warning. From the National Weather Service. Anyway, back on the road. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go around this guy, cause he, he fucking brake tech me twice. Also, American fact number three, I believe this is for this episode. Idaho produces potatoes. Iowa produces corn. Florida produces oranges. Georgia produces peaches. Uh, let's see, what else? Washington produces apples. Oregon produces lumber and I think other stuff. Lightning strike flashed right in my eye.
uh, Zeus has not been very happy the past few days, I'm not gonna lie. He might be going through a rough divorce with Hera. And also, I don't know, Hercules must, must be pissing him off as well. So, who knows? That sign off to the right is a, is a welcome to Idaho sign. Unless it was, in which case I don't know. Also, the center median appears to be moving a lot. Huh. Hoping it suddenly doesn't jut off into the into the lane like the like it used to do going towards Montana. I think it had to do something with uh, Canada Dream causing a... Oh. Okay. Canada Dream causing problems with uh, clashing. Idaho Falls. Falls is just another copy paste. Because of course it is. Oh shit. Idaho Falls discovered. I actually had no idea that I Idaho Falls was a city. What, is, what does this say? Mountain ahead, drive with caution. Last exit before mountain. So let me guess, we're gonna have to climb a mountain with this with this trailer. And there it is, right there. Huh. This may be a very Bumpy ride. When I say bumpy, I mean hard to get up this hill because um, I'm really not sure how. What the fuck? Is that thing? Is that thing going straight up the mountain? Oh no, it's not. It's going between it. Good. Also, I just heard myself yawn, so. It's a fail on my part, because I just drove right past a rest area that was in Idaho Falls. Whoops. Okay. Well, you're going to be going downhill. between the mountain faces. And right back uphill. Mm. 
<sighs> yes, I know you're tired. Also, I'm not going to cut this episode into, into parts because it's too short. Probably should have, uh... Oh no, I, I couldn't rest because I don't have my own truck yet. That will change sooner rather than later. If I can get enough money. Also, I just remembered I can use a, a loan to get a truck. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just do that then. Can I turn my lights off yet? Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to... I'm assuming that was Wyoming? Or Montana? Oh, and speaking of the... barrier that jumped into the middle of the road... To going towards Canada... Here it is. Are we going to have to avoid it though? I wonder. I'm getting tired. This is too fast up a corner. Shit. I literally almost tipped my trailer. Oh shit. That's getting way too close. Okay. I got way too close to the center, or to the road there. Okay, I... We're gonna have a look to see where we are, which, uh... State this is. It's a lovely area. Still want to know what mountain range that is. The Rockies, perhaps. on this side now. Lovely. Okay, it stopped. I... I complain about the most mundane shit, I swear to God.
like the sun's out, but the thunder's still roaring. <sighs> also, I have not been paying attention to whether or not I've been passing by rest areas. So I'm about to get fined any minute now. And plus, we're going around a sharp corner. And again. It didn't look like it was, it was rendered very well at all. Neither is that one. Jesus Christ. <sighs> drive in here and find out because I need to rest Oops. both ways before crossing the road children hopefully I don't get ramped from behind Okay, we're good. <sighs> Butte, Montana. It looks like... Could be its own city? Possibly. I'm gonna have to go this way. Thank you kindly. And into the rest area we go. What did I just run over? <sighs> oh, I see the texture's fucked up. That's lovely. Anyway. Yeah, the texture's messed up. And out we go. Do we, uh... Which way do I go from here? Ah. I miss the days when all I'd hear about is sports. Now it's politics. Oh god, fuck this government.
got about two hours to go, two hours and change. Plus, about 120 miles. We'll be there in no time. Hole in the hole in the world there. The fuck? Um. Okay. We're gonna have to do some exploring here. What? Uh, what is this? Huh, it's a... Uh... What is this? I guess they're building... part of the world, and it... and it's wrapping around? Wow, that's, uh, that's interesting. It's going to be a quarry going down here. Wait, where's the... Oh. It's going to be a quarry going on down here. Alright, well. Back to the road. Probably holding up a bunch of people now. On the highway we return. They put it on the map when it's not even done. Oh, wow. Okay, I pulled out a little bit too far for this. Alright. We're going. I just noticed I don't think I have a... Uh, turn signal sound for this truck. But if I do, it's very quiet.
only I would get a phone call while I'm recording. God damn it. And I don't even recognize the number. Just look it up on Google. I'm done recording. And speaking of being done recording, we are almost there. Less than an hour to go. To the left is Missoula, Montana. close to the guardrail. Okay, so let me get in here. Which way do I go? Okay, I gotta go to the left. Which means I'm gonna cut off one of these big rigs. Five miles an hour. Okay, there is sound for my turn signal. Just way too, uh, way too quiet.
Here we be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna play it safe. Okay, can we get in here? Good. Empty pallets delivered from Las Vegas to Missoula. That will be a, a level. Uh, 973 miles for $8,172 of uh, almost 1600 XP. Level 8 proficiency bonus, $625. Long distance delivery, uh, $1,173, 391 XP for... Oh, and also the 15 XP for parking the trailer. Parking the truck, rather. For a total of $9,970 and 1,973 XP, we will tack on our skill point to high value. And that will do it for this episode of an Amer- uh, an American. Yeah, no, we're not in Europe. For American Truck Simulator, if you enjoyed the trip, consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more of this, or anything else I have to offer, subscribe and join the Wheeler Brigade. But until next time, keep the pedal down, keep on rocking.